Get ready for 10 genius ways to steal diamonds in Minecraft. Steve is learning every day, so there's no time to lose. We need some seriously crazy and clever ways to grab Steve's precious chest full of diamonds. Number one, one disguise at a time. In a previous video, I mentioned that skins could help you blend into certain environments. Just match your skin with the right texture of block and you're practically invisible. Steve has gone to a lot of effort to build his brand new house. In fact, he's using more types of blocks than ever before. Impressive! But we're not here to gush over Steve's building abilities. You want to be noting down what blocks his walls are made out of. Look through the window to spot any specific things he has a lot of in the house. Copy those textures into skins and begin your infiltration. First disguise like a wall, then maybe a plant. Make your way to his chest slowly and steadily, and maybe hope that his eyesight isn't on point today. With enough stealth, you'll be at his precious chest in no time. And now, it's all yours. Number two, faking your own death. Everything is fun and games here on Subs World. Despite all the pranks, PvP, and various competitions, the players of this server still really like you at the end of the day and would never do something so evil as to take advantage of their trust. And fake your own death, would you? Oh, oh, he's already doing it. <sighs> there are a number of ways to achieve this sub, but once they've seen the death message, they'll be bound to gather for a funeral. This is where you pull off the theft. Place a sign near the funeral casket, saying that diamonds are welcome as a loving tribute. Wire up some hoppers to the chest and wait and watch as all those suckers up above start sending their diamonds down to the hole. Of course you're going to have to reveal the truth at some point. This is just a prank after all. Number 3. The Mob Rush Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! <laughs> Just kidding, sub. Sadly, none of those mobs are in the vanilla version of Minecraft. But there are creepers and zombies and skeletons. And if you ask me, they're much scarier. Unprepared players are sure to get startled by a large number of mobs suddenly appearing. Even pros will quiver if they feel like their defenses aren't good enough. Steve has dealt with a lot of mob pranks from you. But what if he didn't realize you were the cause? Spend the darkest gathering up as many mobs as possible. Begin leading them slowly to Steve's house. And at the last moment, drink an invisibility potion, leaving Steve to deal with all the monsters heading his way. Psst! Now's your chance to grab the diamonds while he's distracted. And while Sub's doing that, I wanted to let you all know that not everyone watching will be subscribed. This means you won't see videos or even get notified when they go out. Subscribing not only helps support the channel, but it also keeps you closer to Subs World for all the latest tips and tricks. Number 4. Aggravation It doesn't always take some overcomplicated method to be genius. Sometimes it can just be as clever to find the most smallest, most cost-efficient way of getting what you want. Steve has a lot of diamonds over there, Sub. Start annoying Steve. Spend the day trying to find subtle ways to aggravate him. Squish his crops. Let his animals loose. Break his blocks. Spam the chat. Anything and everything. At this point, Steve's patience will be wearing thin. He can deal with you in small increments, but all day, every day, that drive even the best of us mad. Wait until he finally loses it, freaks out, and hope that in his anger, he breaks the server rules, causing him to be temporarily banned from the server by the admin, and allowing you to raid all of his diamonds completely risk-free. Genius. Number 5. The Redstone Mechanic a lot of players either completely avoid redstone or just don't get it even if they try to. Especially with constant updates, new features, and changes to how the game works. It can be difficult to follow along and stay in the loop. Because of this, redstone mechanics are very respected members of the community. And servers will pride themselves for having the best of the best redstoners around. Because you've got a name for yourself from all the videos, Sub, you've become the resident go-to for whenever machines around here break down. 
get yourself geared up, look professional, and head to Steve's house. He has an issue. Take a look and mention it may take a while. While he's gone or logged out, secretly root through his chests, grabbing any diamonds and then ensuring you fix the machine to avoid suspicion. Job done. That'll be five emeralds, please, Steve. Oh, you don't have any. Do you want to pay in diamonds instead? The uh, sub? I think you should get going. Number six, the lava swoop. Sometimes players can be pesky. They may have even watched the video or two of yours and know some great ways to hide chests. We all know that you're full of surprises and information, Sub. Take Steve, for example. He's gone all the way to the nether and has placed his chest right in the center of a huge lava lake. Unlucky for Steve, lava is nothing to you, Sub. You've conquered it time and time again. Equip an Elytra and spend some time trying to swoop in from the nether rack. Not only will this help your flying skills, but then you don't have to waste a whole bunch of fire resistance. Number 7. Win a Winner Chicken Dinner As mentioned earlier, competitions are always fun, so I've decided to pit you against Steve in a server-wide parkour course. Everyone can enter. All they need to do is pay one diamond. The winner, of course, gets bragging rights and a golden crown. Ooh, shiny. I know you want that crown, don't you, Sub? Or do you? Perhaps give Steve a chance this time. Explain that because you know a lot about Minecraft. Wait, Sub, that's the competition payment box. Steve put his diamonds in there. <gasps> you had me set up this entire competition just so you could steal diamonds right from underneath him? Sub, that's genius. That's totally genius. Number eight, the fake tour. This newbie Steve has learned a lot from building and now wants to show off his house to you, Sub. He thinks you could critique it or give him some suggestions. That sounds easy enough. You thinking what I'm thinking, Sub? Ask the player for a grand tour. You want to see every room in the house, every furnace, every wooden plank, every chest, wink, wink. Wait, no, you can't wink, you have no eyes. That doesn't matter though, because you don't really want to see his house. You just want to locate his precious diamond chests. While he's explaining the inspiration for the aesthetic building choices of a particular room, completely ignore that and swipe the diamonds. After the tour, Steve will even be willing to walk you right out the house. Oh, thank you so much, Steve. We'll be back later, but not too much later. Number 9. The Wishing Well Everyone loves to make a good wish. After all, it leaves you feeling all fantastical inside if it comes true. Steve is embarking on a journey to go to the server's wishing well today. He's brought gold bars and even some diamonds to throw in. He must really be hoping his wish comes true. Sadly, it definitely won't. Go to the wishing well and dive right into the bottom. Normally, items would just despawn down here after five minutes. But you're not going to let that happen, are you, Sub? Add hoppers and ensure that any item dropped will sink and get sucked up into your own special wish chest. Here comes Steve. Looks like he's wishing for Sub to stop stealing his diamonds. Well, this is kind of awkward. Have you ever wished for something that had ended up coming true? Why not cheer Steve up by telling him your story in the comments? Number 10. Gem Inspection Stall Roll up, roll up. The best gem collector in town has arrived. Yep, it's you, Sub. And with all the diamonds collected today, you've become quite the expert. So much so that word has gotten around. People want you to come and inspect their diamonds to see if they're real or worth a lot of money. Steve's calling for you to come back and look. He probably can't bear asking you for help. But at this point, he just wants to cash in the last diamonds he has. I guess you can give him that. Or not. Give him a whack in the face and be gone as fast as possible, without leaving a single one remaining. A genius would never leave a job incomplete. But I think after this video, you could totally regard yourself as a Minecraft genius. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Even if it is all a joke, it's gonna take forever to Steve to put all those diamonds back.